Hey guys, this is my next Redbubble poster review. Now I know that I technically have Emerald City Comic Con in the title, but it's not a poster from there. It is a poster from Redbubble that I took there, so that explains everything. Also, for some of you who might be wondering why I'm back, well, I went there this morning and then I'm back because basically I, I don't know how anyone can stay at these things for more than three days without going broke because that's what would happen to me. And I had to spend $200 to get to this thing. And I'm not saying $200 American, I'm saying $200 Canadian because we can't, our dollar sucks. To withdraw $110 American, it cost me like 100, almost 160. So that was crazy. So I basically spent almost all of my money within the first the first hour by getting John Barenthal and Will Friedel to sign. Now, let me show you the poster. Now this is from Rust & Co. Sorry if I got that wrong, man, but look at that. Look at it. So amazing. And that is, of course, John Barenthal's like, signature down there saying, one batch, two batch, penny and dime. I'm so, he was such a nice guy and Originally, I actually wasn't going to go to this con because the only person who I saw there was Will Friedel. It's, like, it's not worth it to drive down just for one guy. I actually didn't even know many of the artists, but when I saw he was there, I've been trying to get something signed by him for the last three years. Uh, he's either been out of my reach or he's had to reschedule for cons that I was going to. So the fact that he was go at this, I even told him that when I went to get the sign, I was like, hey man, I was actually about to not come and then I saw you were here and I had to come meet you and I had to just say, see you in person. And no word of a lie here, he stopped what he was doing, he stopped writing and he held out his fist and I just fucked him. Now I probably looked like this when he did when we were doing it, just... But no, he was a really nice guy. He was really awesome to meet. I can barely remember it because I was probably going, oh, but I can remember the fist bump. And I remember him, yeah, he thought this was pretty cool. So there you go, Rustico. You've had a piece of art touched by your uh, the person you're basing the, the work on. And the work itself is amazing. Uh, it's a lot more rigid, a lot more battered, uh, damaged, and it perfectly reflects the character. And I also love the fact that the Daredevil part is up here. And if you can see, uh, you can see that there's in the silhouettes of the shadow of the face. So it'd be really sweet is uh, I have Barenthal's signature. So if I could get Charlie Cox's signature up in the top, uh, top right, that would be or top left, uh, yeah, top right, that would be sweet. But anyway guys, if you guys want to check out uh, where I got this work from or you want to check out more of the artist's work, just go, it's the first link in the description below. You know what though, the funny thing is talking about this, uh, doing this, it really makes me want to do a comparison video talking about who is better. Uh, I'm not talking about Duff Lundgren or I'm not talking about that terrible Warzone movie, I'm talking about the one with Thomas Jane. And it has nothing to do with the fact that I found the original of the Xbox game recently at the flea market and the fact that I own the extended cut of the Thomas Jane version. So maybe I will do a comparison. We'll see. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you later.